Right, record custom rally, uh, Germany. Load slot three. Hock, Franz, Ols, Farsch, Metzdorf, Gunnarsvillier. All in R, all in rain. Group S, gonna go with this car. Don't really know what's the bestest, but I quite like it. Uh, yeah. In game time matters. I'm just gonna use the timer at the side for my own timekeeping. It's just going to run as a... No reset run, get some splits on the board. Gotta learn how to drive fast cars. Pretty much haven't driven much above uh, well I've only competed in group 4 that's the fastest I've really done anything in I haven't really done anything in B either but I like group S every time I've driven it I enjoy driving it it's the fun of group B and group S I think are my favourite classes in the game and I do enjoy group 2 it's it's like a ha group two's a handful. Why so many tanks? Nineteen uh, eighties Germany. There's one Hinkelstein on this side of the road. Oh no, they start here. Fuck's sake! I couldn't see it because of the people. This is a really difficult rally. Oh, fuck. I'm not 100% sure where it is. But yeah, probably east. These are real locations. I'm not sure if the... Like, I'm pretty sure you can just Google these place names and they are real rally stage locations and stuff. I think it is the East German rally though. Something... Now you've said East German... It, I feel like... Like the real rally in this time was... The East Germany rally. I did like the theory, speaking of communism. Um, the reason the Soviets were never really into car motorsport was because it's not the sort of thing where one bloke can just like get it. They were in, more into uh, motorcycles because you don't need, like you can, you can man a crew on your own, which is kind of a weird side of like communism where it's like 
So everybody can do it on their own. But why not have a thing where, yes, you need a team? Because team. <laughs> I mean, yeah, cars are expensive. Even more so back then. Well, race cars are kind of just as expensive as they've ever been. Yeah, it's like very individualist sort of thing. We all work for each other, but everyone against each other. Motorbikes are the better sport, though. Obviously, push bikes are the best sport, but... Motorbikes are a better sport than uh, cars. But you do end up having like the same number of people. It's just how many people are actually... You know, you've got a massive pit crew for Formula 1, obviously. And you've got way more mechanics working on the rally side of things. Mostly because everybody just wanted... You know, the more people you can throw at it, the more effective time you've got to spend on the car. If you've only got 45 minutes service, if you've got one guy, you've got 45 minutes. If you've got two, you've got an hour and a half sort of thing. You know, you, even if you've got one guy who's literally just changing the tyres. But yeah, motorbike's cool. I should have just slowed it down anyway since I was coming into this corner. It didn't matter. Trying to think how I'm going to fold a structure out of rally, because then I'm going to end up with a lot of. Uh, well, let's see. I think I'm going to have to go with groups and just do it by group. So it'll just be group. This will just go into group S, and then everything, including career mode runs and all that, will drop into group S.
I do enjoy Germany every time I play it. I enjoy basically every uh, every country, but it's one of those weird ones where I don't get to play Germany very much doing the career mode speedruns. Because I think it doesn't turn up as much. I've got to be honest, there's less records for it usually. Than, uh, than most other countries, so I think it's like actually tuned to not turn up as much as other other countries maybe are. That's interesting. My in-game time says it was a 4.48. And my real time says it was a 4.38. So unless I crashed twice and went off track, which is highly potential, to be honest. High potential for that to be the case. But also, I think that the other splits are actually counting my non-segmented time, because I'm running this in segmented mode. So that it pauses between each run, so that there's like... Oh fuck, overcooked that one. So that there's less discrepancy between my runs. Load times aren't accounted for, the time I'm waiting on each screen isn't accounted for, all that sort of shit. Probably should have just accelerated there.
I didn't want to like gun it because I wasn't sure what was around the corner. Couldn't remember. Not bad, not bad. Oh fuck, I was meant to stop that there. Oh well. Uh, we'll repair. Yeah, 16 30, so the time's kind of not being taken. And we're already a minute in. What? And now it's counting down the split time. Okay, I'm not quite sure how a segmented run works in this uh, software. I've never actually done one before, I just knew that it was possible and vaguely tested it with like, oh yeah, you have to press, you press split to stop the timer and then unpause it after. I wasn't quite sure how it worked. I thought, oh, it would be fine for this. It just stops the timer and then restarts it, it's fine. But it seems to continue in the background a little bit. I mean, it's not too bad if you miss split to be able to go back, but. It doesn't, as long as it's like consistent to itself, it's fine. I just kind of want to take out the dead time between tracks. And just have a consistent start and stop point so that I can sort of tell. Okay, that was close enough to be, you know. That was close enough to my PB to double check whether it's actually a PB or not. Because I had it with uh, Mario Kart Wii, which uses in-game time, same as this. Add up all your time at the end. Um, where I had a time that was so real time, it was very close to my PB, but it was slower. It was like 15, 20 seconds slower. But adding up all the in-game time, it was like 10 seconds faster than my PB. So I think still, actually, my... Uh, Mario Kart Wii time, the one on the splits timer is actually not my PB. Because I must have just had longer loading times, they're kind of random in the game. Or fucking had a drink in between... You know, if I had a couple more drinks, if one was done in like this time of year... When it's a bit cooler, and one was done in the middle of the summer, or I was talking more during one of them. I might have had more drinks stopped, might need a piss in the middle of one. I'm gone for one. Anything, because I can reply to ma messages and stuff between these runs. Okay. Let's go for the final stage. Where, well, yeah, I've got a minute and a half or something. I don't get it. Might have to look through the settings or whatever. 
Unfortunately, this is basically the only option for uh, speedrun timers on Linux. It also breaks with that, because that took way less than 5 seconds to reset me. But that's fine. Chances are if I don't get reset it'll be faster real time anyway. Because I'll probably lose 5 seconds in warming up. I think it's like you'd probably end up losing nearly 10 seconds proper in game time. Because you lose the 5 seconds just straight up. And then you're going to lose like 5 more seconds to having to re-speed back up. And especially if it's one where you actually like tried to keep it on the track rather than just if you just barrel off then yeah sure whatever fuck it there may be a corner in this game where real time it's quicker to just barrel it off the corner and have it replace you But I doubt it. That was bad breaking point. Yeah. That's that then. 23556 is that's weird. It's just weird. Because it hasn't taken the... Yeah. Let's have a look in the settings. Yeah, there's basically nothing. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how that works. How each of the splits are gonna, gonna load out. Holes are off, did you? Oh, yeah, I should take a thing of that. So, 21, 24, 494. Cool. Right. Click through to the end screen, I guess. And yeah.